This is the first time on the channel that we are lab testing a scooter engine oil. After experimenting with different engine oils, I was really curious to know the effect of a 5W40 grade JSO MB synthetic scooter engine oil on a regular scooter. The Castrol Power One Ultimate Scooter Engine Oil has been one of my favorite scooter engine oils and I have got a similar response about the same from you guys as well. Two engine oils were in my list for this lab test. One was the Motul Scooter Power LE and the other one was the Castrol Power One Ultimate Scooter. So this time I purposely decided to go ahead and spend my money on the Castrol Power One Ultimate Scooter for lab test as we have the earlier results of the Power One Ultimate 10W40 motorcycle engine oil which will give us some insights on the difference in between the formulations of the two oils. In the past I have shared my practical experience with the Power One Ultimate Scooter but things don't always go according to the plan. As the first lab test sample was contaminated which affected the viscosity. The next test was carried out on a Honda Activa with fresh Power One Ultimate scooter and here are the viscosity numbers after doing 2500 plus kilometers of medium to heavy use. Viscosity can be generally defined as the resistance offered by a fluid at a certain temperature. So after doing 2500 plus kilometers, the kinematic viscosity at 40 degrees Celsius for the Power One Ultimate scooter has dropped from 87.85 mm2 per second to 61.8 mm2 per second. While at 100 degrees Celsius, the kinematic viscosity has dropped from 14.29 to 10.5 mm2 per second. Now if we consider this for a scooter that usually runs on a 10W30 grade engine oil, then even after 2500 plus kilometers of heavy use, we still have a lot of viscosity in reserve, which is a good thing. But we need to recheck this performance if a manufacturer recommends 10W40 grade engine oil for a scooter. Coming to the flashpoint, the Fresh Power One Ultimate scooter has got a flashpoint of 205.7 degrees Celsius, while the used oil has got a flashpoint of 184 degrees Celsius, which is usual for a used oil. Next, we have TBN, that is the alkaline reserve of an engine oil that neutralizes the acidic environment and creates a non corrosive atmosphere inside the engine. Now, Castrol does not provide the TBN for Power One Ultimate scooter. While I was expecting this scooter engine oil to have similar TBN of 6.9 that Castrol provides to the Power One Ultimate 10W40, but I was wrong as the used oil itself came up with the TBN of 6.4 which indicates that Castrol has been generous with this scooter formulation. Now as we move ahead to analyze the spectroscopy report, I know many scooter riders are concerned about using a 5W40 grade engine oil in a scooter that recommends 10W30 grade as they fear more wear and tear from a resistive oil. Even I want to know the effect as this can cause long term damage to the engine. We will begin this with iron that builds the majority of the engine, where we found minor traces of it at 9.3 parts per million, which indicates negligible wear. Aluminium came up with just 1.7 parts per million, which is really low and that makes a good news for the engine. The same story repeats with copper at 2.3 parts per million that clearly indicates that this oil did an amazing job in protecting the engine. All other wear and tear elements like chromium, lead, nickel have shown negligible presence. And I don't need to say this as numbers have already indicated that the Power One Ultimate Scooter 5W40 offers excellent wear and tear protection to the engine. Moving ahead to the contaminants, silicon came at 4.4 parts per million while sodium at 2.6 parts per million with negligible presence of potassium which makes them an acceptable number for contaminants. Finally coming to what I have understood is of everyone's interest that is additive elements. We will start off with detergents and dispersants that helps in keeping the engine clean. Calcium came out at just 164.2 parts per million which is really low and you may now think that this can be a reason to be concerned about. But just like what we have seen with the Power One Ultimate 10W40, Castrol has balanced the formulation with magnesium where we have magnesium in abundance at 1010.9 parts per million so cleanliness is ensured with a different formulation. The anti-wear and anti-corrosion department is handled well by zinc and boron where we have 1039.1 parts per million of zinc and 76.7 parts per million of boron which is very similar to what we have seen with the Power One Ultimate 10W40. Phosphorus has got a strong presence here at 842.2 parts per million which is a part of extreme pressure additive that helps the engine oil to perform at extreme conditions. Being a JSO MB engine oil, I was expecting a healthy dose of friction modifier in the form of molybdenum where we got just 1.9 parts per million of molybdenum which is too little to make any difference. Surprisingly, if you remember the Power One Ultimate 10W40 which is a JSO MA2 engine oil showed around 36.3 parts per million of molybdenum which made its presence felt with better gear shift experience. So this is what I analyzed from the lab test and that's the best thing about lab tests that everything gets cleared with numbers. 
So that's all for this video and I hope you guys have liked it.